All right, so I just got back from the Home Depot or the Home Depot or what? I don't even know. Okay, home to home place where you buy stuff for your home, the work, the workplace. I don't know. It's a good place. Okay, home. This is a home lot. Weed whacker, weed eater, weed trimmer, curb shaft trimmer, whatever you want to call it. I just got back from getting it, and now I got it. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna mix some fuel, and we're gonna see how good it runs right out the box. So I hope you enjoy this. And uh, we're gonna see how it is and see what it's like. All right, so let's get it opened on up and see what it looks like getting out of the box and all that. I forgot a knife, so you know what we're gonna use it's big old skizzers, whatever they're called. All right, that's what we're gonna use. Get this box open. All right. Okay, that was not even hard. I didn't even need these things. I just pinched my finger. Ow. Okay, got the box open. Let's see here. Oh yeah. It smells like new equipment, which is always a good thing. Throw this, we don't need this. Throw this, we don't need this. All right, there's the curved shaft. There's our curved shaft. It's already got some line in it. That's pretty cool of them, I guess. Um, I'm not going to use that, but we'll use it to test, I guess. But that's pretty cool, and I guess it has this, yeah, it has the bump thing. See? So when you're hauling ass, or, ooh, I just got a start YouTube. When you're going fast, you can, uh, you know, it just comes out. <laughs> You don't have to get down there and mess with it like one of the electric ones, which is real annoying. Got some plastic on here. All right, let's set this down on the ground. All right, now let's get the, the hefty part out here. Oh, well, the box didn't like to be open from that way, so let's open it from down here as well. Ow. And we'll just rip the whole thing. I'm too damn wanting to see this thing go to care about that. Oh, hey. Now that's cool of them. All right, there's the weed eater itself. There we go. Magic tricks like a rabbit out of a hat. Look at it. It's real light, but she's beautiful. It's real lightweight. That's one thing I like about that. It's not heavy at all. I carried out the store with like one hand in the box. So that's awesome. All right, let's set that down. Oh, hell, man. Well, I thought I was being clever. And I was like, well, I'm going to get the good stuff. Yeah, you know, some echo oil. But they actually did give me some pretty good, good quality oil right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I thought it was going to be like way worse stuff. But that's pretty cool. But we're still going to use this because I bought it. I want to use it. I also got this stuff right here. So my, I, I couldn't find the brands I wanted, but I'm going to try this stuff out. It's called Pro Rhino Tough. Okay, 0.95. We're going to check that out. But it comes with more line of that weird stuff. Let's get this uh, on out. This is the, yeah, like the guard and the handle. We need the handle, but not so much the guard. We'll do that later. We'll write that later. We just want to see it run right. Got the guard here. Put that down. See, this is the oil. I almost bought this, but I was like, no, I know Echo's a good brand. See, I was, there's a, there's a, a used Echo for 110. I almost bought it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it, though. Couldn't do it. Got this. Because you never know if you stuff. The reason why I had to buy this home light is because it got ripped off on a used one. If you guys want to hear more about that story, click the like button, and I'll do a whole video on that. But we don't need this. We got a little Allen wrench. Not sure what we're going to need that for. We got it right there. Put this down. Don't need that right now. But you know what we do need? A little bit of this Mickey's. Yeah. It's a hot, humid, muggy Texas day. Okay. Well, got the weed right here. Get the box out of the way. Got this bad boy. Now, how's it go on? Oh, I hit the table. Sorry, guys. I hit you guys. Set that plastic off there. Get that plastic going off there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, in there like so. Set that like that. I guess she's just tightened down on it. Ain't nothing too fancy. That must be what the Allen wrench is for. Okay, cool. See, guys? Maybe I won't edit this so much so you can just see the whole unboxing process here. It's actually quite simple so far. All right. I'm going to tighten this down in there. Tighten these on down. So that's pretty cool. That means, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that if I want, I can take this thing and I can make it uh, a different like I can 
have it at a different angle. Now, I wish there was straight shaft, but that's a little bit more money, which I don't understand, you know, but it's all good. We got this one. All right. That's the whole thing right there. Bada boom, bada bang. Chicken nugget, cocaine. Oh, no, said another bad word. Sorry, YouTube. Yeah, look at that. All right. Let's get some fuel mix, get the handle on, and I'll see you in a second. Handle applied. Now, I'm doing this real ghetto like I don't even have a, a good lid because you got to mix this stuff real well. But uh, we'll compromise by holding our finger over it. Okay, but hey, this is what you got to do. Okay, you get your gas. This is a gallon, just two gallons. Get your gallon. Okay, start pouring this one in there. There we go. Got the gallon of gas. Gallon of gas. We got the oil right here. Oh, yeah. 2.6 ounces. Okay. That's what you need for a gallon of gas. Now, you're going to put this in there. We're going to take this off. We're going to need this on there. So, we can shake it on up. Hopefully, it fits on there. Pretty sure it does. Now, we're going to put this in there. Oh, look. They got a little cute little tap on there. Oh, that's not safe. Use gloves, guys. Don't be me. Don't be an idiot like me. All right. Got that in there. We're nice and all blue and a little weird looking. Toss that. We don't need that no more. Put this back on. And now we're going to shake it up. Real nice on. Might spray out of my face. Okay, it's not going to do that. Cool. Shake it on up. You just should get on up. Yeah, shake it on up. You just should get on up. All right. That's pretty, pretty shaking. Apparently, they tell you to do that every time as well. All right, well, we got our gas mixed. Now the final test is to see if the damn thing works. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, now we got that mixed right about here. Now let's get some gas in the old girl. Well, it's a new girl, let's see. Press 10 times, set the full choke. Well, yeah, we don't really need you. We don't need you, we know what to do, okay? But that's, that's cool that it's got that. It's got the whole instructions right there. All right. First time having gas in you. Hope you like it. Hope it's delicious. Hope it's delicious for your little weed eater. Hope you ha have a good old drink of that. All right, we're filling her on up. Filled up good enough for me. Okay. Close that up. And uh, see you in a second when we actually start it up. Okay, well, in the process, I'm trying to film this whole thing over here, I spilled some nasty ass old water on my hand. So if I die of age, you know why. Okay. Ten times. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. It's in there. It's in there. All right. Let's see how it starts up. Let's see if she'll do it right here. You think it'll do it on the... Think it'll do it on the first try? Let's see. Let's see if we got a, any, any buttons here. Uh, nope. Oh, uh, he wants to. Come on. Come on. Oh, it almost did. We almost had it, guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Screw it. That's what I'm talking about. It didn't take long at all to get that thing started. That's that was nice. And I just put it on full run. You know, you just had to put it on choke. I said, screw it. Put that sucker on run. Worked and start right up. Squeeze the trigger, and there she went. That's awesome. That's impressive. I'm very, very happy with this purchase so far. Well, that was an unboxing and startup of the home light 26cc curve shaft, weed trimmer, weed ear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'll let you guys know how it does for me. If it burns out in a week or two or anything, you know, I'll let you know. Peace out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button. Leave a comment. Goodbye. <laughs>